Good morning, good morning, BigSquareRoadRoad.com. What's your morning horn of Z's, your sip of chaga. Chaga, chaga. Chaga gangsters out there. <laughs> and I went through my first pack. I got these, the organic ones, 100 to 1. Cliff is worried that it might be too concentrated. Uh, I can't really get good information from the company on the... If 100 to 1 means concentration, what does that do? I feel great, so I'm not worried about having too much chaga right now. But I do want everybody to listen to parts 1, 2, and 3 of the Cliff High interviews. Remember, part 1 was done long before we knew about coronavirus. So go to Road to Ruta, click on the very top portion, parts 1, 2, and 3, the Year Zero interviews. Um, there's not many doubters left anymore out there because the reality is smacking them in the face. And whoever is a doubter about this, the, the severity of this problem, um, probably won't change their mind ever, ever. It's kind of like Chris Duane and his stance on cryptocurrencies. Um, but hey, everybody's got their own life to lead. Everybody's got to make their own decisions. Everybody's going to be, uh, spreading oh this isn't real it's the bad guys doing it and whether it ought it is or not it is real and remember this has been in cliff's data since the late 1990s and it it's with us for five years so you can you can tell people don't prepare all you want um i just redid the exponential growth numbers and they're very scary anyway let's let's first talk about this u.s death toll hits 58 as first patient passes away in Oregon. This is what's very interesting. New York City mayor weighs citywide lockdown as cases explode. What will that do to the financial markets? The shutting down of the world's largest financial hub. Uh, yeah, I think it's the world's largest. I think it's bigger than London. Think about it, my friends. What's going to happen to the stock market? Yes, they're going to rig the shit out of it come Monday. By the end of the week, we are we are really close to that point in Dick Allgaier's data where all exchanges freeze up and just stop trading. We are really close to that. Um, I would say definitely in the next two months, but it could be the next two weeks. Because as Steve Mnuchin figures out at some point, he's not going to be able to stop this by clicking his mouse. The Fed figures out they're not going to, you know, no matter how much money you pump into this, it doesn't put goods and things on the shelves. It doesn't start the flow of pieces and parts around the world again. Those who say, oh, China's starting up again, it's bullshit. They are not starting up again. Why do you think Apple computers shut all their stores down? And it, I told that to someone yesterday, and they go, yeah, I know, yeah, but that's just China. I said, No! They shut all their short stores down in the United States. You cannot go to an Apple store anymore. And by the way, those who saw that Bill Gates uh, stepped down from the board of Berkshire and Microsoft, was he arrested? Was he part of this cabal plan? I don't know. Clearly, all the senior guys are saying there's no fucking way out of this. Now it comes down to saving their own hide, getting their own shit in order, and getting out of town. The future of corporate America is over. Over. Why? Because the banks are done. Nobody can pay their bills if the, the system, the globalization, stops. Globalization was a huge mistake. It was brought onto us by the bad guys, absolutely. And they knew if it broke down, we'd be shit out of luck. And that's the key. What do we do after the system breaks down? Do we turn... To our government, or do we turn to ourselves and say, them, I don't trust them at all. I'm going to make a way on my own. Everybody's going to turn to government, I guarantee you. But they're not going to have any answers. And that'll be anger towards the government, overthrow of many, many, many types of governmental organizations, including the United States. Yes, no one's going to trust what Trump says. No one's going to trust what Gavin Newsom says. No one's going to trust what Biden says or Bernie says. It's time we grow up and take things on our own. How many people will die? I don't know. I, I can't count how many. Multiples of millions. Probably already a 
gigantic chunk of that has already taken place in China. Remember, China's shut out. Nothing's going on. Nothing. You're going to hear Foxconn uh, started up their, their manufacturing again. Well, Foxconn does the manufacturing in China for the iPhone, right? And for other Apple products. Problem is, they're not sitting there with all the pieces and parts that go into this, all the raw materials that go into an iPhone. Those are sourced from 140 different nations who have, are not shipping anything. So it's bullshit. Right now, Apple's churning through their inventory, remaining inventory, and then it's all going to shut down. Yes, if you, if you ever want to upgrade your iPhone, I would have done it yesterday. Again, they shut down all the Apple stores in the United States of America and around the world, everywhere but China, supposedly. But we don't know what's going on in China because the Chinese uh, government has blocked all media. This is nothing to, to say, oh, this is just a, a false flag. Bullshit, my friends. Bullshit. Luckily, people are starting to wake up. and Some people will just keep saying, oh, no, 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 it's the bad guys. If it's the bad guys or the good guys, whoever did this, Yes, I do think it's a biological weapon, but it doesn't matter. The old way of living is gone forever. You need to shake yourself out of this normalcy bias. Even the conspiracy guys are in the normalcy bias, meaning oh, I'm so used to these conspiracies. After I prove it's wrong, the world goes on as normal. This time the world's not going on as normal. So watch for the shutdown of New York City. What's that going to do to the stock market? The world's riches have lost almost one trillion in COVID wipe, wealth wipeout. One trillion is nothing. Wait till they lose all of it. Part of the road to root a plan is to destroy all fiat money, all of it. Your bank will not have money. Not will not have cash. That's the question. Everyone's like, "Well, shit. What do I do? Do I keep my cash at home? Because clearly the the banksters are not going to want people having cash. So they're going to say, "Oh, that's COVID cash." That's coronavirus cash. You can't use that. Do you leave it in the bank and you just give it to the bankers who are insolvent, who are just not going to even do anything? They're just going to freeze up. You're not going to get your money out of the bank. I'd say keep very little in cash. What, what will you need cash if no stores are open, the banks shut down? You don't really need much cash. You need cryptos. You need gold and silver. Obviously, silver more than gold. 100 to 1 ratios. Uh, yes, I do hear that pretty much all silver is sold out. So um, you can you can email Andy at Miles Franklin, but I think last I talked to him on Friday, uh, supplies are pretty much done. When will it start up again? No clue. Don't forget, retail buyers of silver are competing with manufacturers, are competing with Apple. So when the markets start up again in silver, clearly they're not. Uh, represented on the comics, but when the physical markets start to flow again, there's going to be massive amount of buying of the physical stuff through the manufacturing sector first. If the banks, again, this is all if <laughs> the world goes on as planned, <clears throat> which it cannot. This is the first quarter that the banks are going to report earnings that are gone. Write-offs, massive, multi-trillion dollar write-offs. And with a leveraged bank, that means insolvency, insolvency, instant insolvency. Instant. And the Fed can't print enough money for this. It's two, two quadrillion dollar derivative markets. And remember, nothing's going on as normal. No, you're not going to be able to buy a car. Why? Because they didn't have that one piece, that one piece of necessary equipment to build an engine to build a car. The, the one piece that made the windows roll down and your electronic Tesla, that one piece that just happened to be made at a certain facility in the Wuhan province, in South Korea, in Taiwan, in Texas, even in America. It's all going to shut down. That's why they're calling it year zero. Downtown Mid-Manhattan Bank runs out of $100 bills among corona panic. The stock market plummeting as the realities of COVID-19 outbreak sink in. Nervous New York New Yorkers flooded a Man downtown Manhattan Bank, Bank of America, taking out large sums of cash to the tens of thousands of dollars at a time. 
What happens to banks when there's a run on the banks? We all know what happens to the stores when they run on, there's a run on toilet paper or uh, hand sanitizer. Instantly, the banks are fractionally reserved, meaning for every $1 that they're supposed to hold, they lend out 10 so they don't have your money anymore. Watch for absolute lockdown on banks this week. As in, oh, you can only pull out $100. And then people go really batshit. And then people start maxing out their credit card. And then they'll say, no, 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 you can't use your credit card anymore. They were giving out free credit. Everybody's going to max out whatever they can to get their hands on whatever they can. No, this is not a regular thing. We're in year zero. This is cracks, cracks me up. COVID-19 pandemic to crash sex worker income. Yes, the strip clubs are done. Sorry. <laughs> and no. How, how Ladies of the evening, you should have got a different job. It doesn't go well with... Uh, Social distancing. How could you be a hooker and social distance yourself? California governor issues executive order allowing state to commandeer hotels and motels for corona patients. I, I agree with him on this one. I don't agree with Gavin Newsom very often, but I agree with him on this one. Why? Because there's not enough hospital beds. That's why it was so important to do the lockdown early, to press down the curve. Flatten the curve, and the curve is how the growth pattern goes. And I'll show you that in a second of this virus. The biggest thing causing death is the lack of health care when these things explode. And it is exploding. Even Hawaii just started admitting what's going on. Our friends in Hawaii. Why have I been so all up in arms about Hawaii? Because they're lying, but I was supposed to go to Hawaii, so I was monitoring it very close. And I was just shocked at what they were saying and doing. Hawaii is the number one vacation spot for Japan and China. Over a million people went through Hawaii in December, January. I think it's two million. December, January, February. And as the world was absolutely exploding with coronavirus, they're still letting people in. Hey, it's it's the economy. We have to keep th these things flowing. There's all kinds of stories of Hawaiian Airlines patients getting sick. What is going on with those poor wait the uh, stewardesses and the captain and crew? Yes, as soon as there's a breakout in uh, with the stewardesses of Hawaiian Air, Hawaiian Air will shut down, and that's part of the lockup of the Hawaiian Islands, the easiest place to quarantine on planet Earth. No more ships and no more planes. I got an interesting email. I, I love this. I mean, I, I didn't love it. it. It just seems so obvious now. I got an email from a friend of mine who uh, lives in Hawaii. At what point do essential services break down? At what point do they declare martial law? We put over a million people on a rock out in the farthest middle of the vast ocean with only tourism and container ships to support life, what could go wrong? That, that was a great line. It is. It's a little rock and the smack dab in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. All they have is tourism. That is gone. That is over. And now they're starting to say, oh, by the way, we have more. They only tested 32 people as of yesterday. And they said they have the capability of doing 500 people a week. And it's been two weeks they've had that capability, and they've only tested 32. We're saving it just for the, for the cases that uh, are, are really important. Are you kidding me? They're not telling people because they don't want the loss of revenue. Their pensions, let's talk about everybody's pension system. My mom has a pension system with the CalPERS. She works for the University of California, Berkeley. A great, great retirement package. Will be dust. I'm mean, screaming at her. She ain't gonna buy it. She said, "Well, if it happens, it happens. I can't get rid of my pension. She still has stuff on the stock market. She has silver. She has gold. She has me. <laughs> That's about it. And I said, as soon as I scream at you, you're coming to move in with us. She said, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 
she's just bummed right now because all her uh, she's in like a retirement type of living area and all the activities are canceled. She's really into the activities, but obviously they're all being canceled now. Everything is going to change. The Illinois retirement system? Are you kidding? Every pension plan is underwater. 401ks are gone. They're literally gone. Already, I can guarantee you, they're gone. Why? Because they all invested in the same thing, and that was what they were told. You work your ass off for all these years. You invest like we tell you to, because we'll have you. We'll give you a financial advisor who says stay away from gold and cryptos, and invest. Everybody invests in the same amount of stocks and bonds and mutual funds and ETFs. That's great when the markets are going up because everybody's doing the same thing. Why do you think we had a booming stock market? When everybody's trying to get out of the same thing, it's a fire hydrant, not a fire hydrant hose, an open fire hydrant trying to fill up a Dixie cup. It doesn't work. That's when everything freezes up, and that's what we're very close to right now. All right, here's, uh, I, I, I didn't, this is on the private road and on Patreon, but I'm showing you guys. I updated my coronavirus graph uh, or chart. This was the old one that uh, in the U.S., the coronavirus doubling every six days because that's what they told us in the beginning. That was the official number. And after the first week, the first six days, it was completely off. It went from 164 to 250 or, or 2,500, 11 deaths to 51 deaths. That was off, so I changed it. I put, I, I rejiggered it and posted it. Now I go, what I'm going to follow what the CDC uh, and the official numbers are. The official numbers right now on coronavirus are right around 2,952, about to hit 3,057 deaths. So I changed it, and I'm doubling every four days. And just look at how fast it, it's. It kind of trickles at the beginning, 2,500 to 5,000 by March 18th. You're thinking, well, that's kind of a decent number. The way this thing goes up is like this, and then a hockey stick. Within one month from today, today is, what is it, the 15th. So by April 15th, there'll be 160,000 cases, 3,284 deaths. People start saying, oh, my God, this is the real thing. And then by May the same time, 5 million people will have it and 104,000 deaths. Now, this is just running off this calculation. Yes, I do think everybody's going to come in contact with it and get it. Everybody. You can't avoid it. If you, if you are trying to get food into your house, if you talk to your family members or neighbors or have per, any personal contact, you're going to get it. And then we max out by June. Cliff size data says it has this going around the world three times. So at least three years of this shit. And no, it's not going to go away in the summer. It's not that kind of virus. And anyway, the banks aren't going to last the end of the quarter. <laughs> so the whole world has changed, my friend. Hang in there, hunker down, do what you can. The best thing you can do, build up your chaga. Number one, vitamin C. Massive amounts of vitamin C. I'm up to 4,000 milligrams a day of liposomal, which is better than the regular. 4,000 milligrams. And then when I get sick, when I get it, there's other things you can do. Obviously, get your D3. If you have C60, Ucina, that's to help. When you get it, you're going to want to loosen up what's going on in your chest. Ucina. U-S-N-E-A uh, is, uh, USNA is an immune system tonic that can be used to help heal respiratory and sinus infections, bronchitis, pneumonia, strep throat, colds, flus, as well as urinary tract, kidney, and bladder infections. USNA. And you just, yeah, you'll cough and spit, but that's the stuff coming out of your lungs. When it gets in your lungs, you're screwed. And it's not just old people. They're, they're finally admitting it's not just old people anymore. 
In Italy, more than half the cases are under 60 years old. In Norway, over half the cases are under 50 years old. It's not just old people. So you got to get away from that normalcy bias that, oh, I'm not, I'm not worried because I'm healthy and young and I got no problem. First of all, you'll get it and you'll transmit it to an older person. The key is to harden your body. Try not to let it take hold in your body. You're going to get it, though, my friends. You're all going to get it. So that's where we are. Uh, this is the CDC's numbers uh, March 13th. They don't update until Monday. It's going to explode Monday. Uh, my my guess is over by Monday, over 3,000, over 60 deaths by Monday. And then you can uh, rotary people ch check out the graph. Now, at, at 10,000 confirmed cases, Italy shut down the whole country. And that puts us at March 24th, basically 10 days away, where the whole country shut down. And it just continues to explode. This is not a little thing, my friends. Hey, if you want more information, Joe Rogan has a great interview. Uh, this guy, Michael. Osterholm uh, on March 10th. So it's a little dated. Yeah, five days later, it's a little dated. That's how fast this thing's moving. But great information. And he clearly points out, yeah, you should be panicked. Because the world has changed. This is year zero. Again, go to roadtorear.com. Watch all three of the Cliff High interviews. And I will be updating for members of Road to Ruta the timeline. Now, I'm pretty damn close on the timeline, but things are going faster than I expected. And I know people freaked out when they saw the timeline, the Road to Ruta timeline, said, that's not, it can't happen that fast. And I have to update it now because it's happening faster. So if you remember, go to the member area. Uh, crypto, great time to buy cryptos if you can get it off the exchange, but very risky time because this is the time that all the exchanges shut down. So careful out there on that one. Um, as far as the timeline, just go to Friday, Road Trip Archives. I'll move the timeline up to the front. Um, but then, where's the timeline? Here it is. Again, part one of the timeline was, was part two of the Cliff High interview. But timeline right here, this is breaks out how I think it's all going to go down over the next short amount of time. And I need to... to go back and look at it and say, oh my God, these things I had happening next month are clearly going to happen this month. So I'm going to be condensing the timeline a little bit. Anyway, you want to join, go to roadtoruda.com. You can get the number one silver coin on planet Earth, the Ruda coin, double strike with luster, each individually numbered, and a Veritasium token. Now, Veritasium is a lottery ticket. It'll most likely be worth zero. If the market shut down, if the government is looking for a way to restart the market so that people trust it again, I can see the government unfreezing the 98 million Veritasium tokens and requiring the stock market, the bond market, especially the metals market, to implement a Veritasium solution that was in Cliff High's data. But it, it absolutely, it ain't going to happen. Except it might. That's the lottery ticket. If you buy a Veritasium token, it's worth zero or more than Bitcoin. Clifi's data had Veritasium going higher than Bitcoin. So that is your lottery ticket I give out with every subscription on the private road. And also, I do uh, I post the private road videos on the Patreon Plus side, uh, which is twenty five bucks a month. But you don't get the coin and you don't get the very so. That's your choice. This is Bix. You guys hang in there. I will be keeping the updates coming. Thank you for all your amazing emails and, and uh, information in the comments. Share your, your uh, thoughts on ways to harden your bodies for this coronavirus thing. Because you're going to get it. We're all going to get it. And then it's just how strong are you? Can you survive it? And go forward. Um, and don't stop. You know, If you have a cold, most of us will never get tested. We'll get it, but we'll never get tested and we'll get over it. Most people will get over the coronavirus. A large chunk of the population will not, but you'll have to deal with it again and again and again as it lingers for the next three to five years. 
and your body will have been deteriorated every time you get it. So do not let your defenses down after you get a cold and you get over it. And as far as the banking system, it's over. It's over. And all the ramifications of that we've been talking about for years on the Road to Ruta. Join the Road to Ruta today. I'll talk to you guys later.